فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان This asl ayuha al-ikhwah that when we observe and we read those ahadith related to the ruler that we the messenger of Allah to the extent ikhwan that at, at his that sermon ikhwan that the the, the sahaba they felt was a going away sermon as occurs in the hadith of Irbad ibn Sariya that we heard the messenger of Allah give us a sermon ضرفت منها العيون ووجلت منها القلوب that the hearts tremored because of it and the eyes shed tears and we said oh messenger of Allah it is as though this is a going away sermon so advise us and so he said أُوسِيكُمْ بِتَقْوَ اللَّهِ وَالسَّمْعِ وَالطَّاعَةِ I advise you with the fear of Allah and to hear and obey to hear and obey and that ikhwan is the first thing that the messenger of Allah was concentrated upon and was concerned with after reminding them of the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal Taqwullah the first thing he mentioned after taqwa hear and obey and this stress that we have upon hearing and obeying the ruler and being united upon the ruler is not ikhwan as those who are affected greatly by conspiracy theorists that these are ahadith that were incorporated into Bukhari and the Messiah actually didn't say it, mention them. Or ahadith that were incorporated into Muslim by those who want us to be yani, under the thumb of the ruler. These rulers that are puppets of the government and so on and so forth and those scholars who serve them and service their opinion. La ikhwan. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made that statement and it is present in the Kitab and in the Sunnah and in the statements of the Salaf of this Ummah. And we need to be aware of these conspiracy theorists, Ikhwan. Wallahi. And we need to be aware of spending the amount of time that some of you brothers spend upon this study of conspiracy theory and conspiracy ideas and Illuminati and the various videos and and all of these YouTube links that link into another. And that one clicks through and sits for hours. And you may conclude that it does sound true though. And so now you look at everyone with the eye of Illuminati. Apparently, Juan, I can't remember where it was, whether we traveled to Canada or somewhere. Uh, a brother, we had a sitting with some brothers. Uh, and we were sitting over food. And he said, uh, one of the brothers said, Yaqi, you know, uh, Abu Hakim, Zakallah Khair, please don't be offended uh, by what I'm about to say. But we had a discussion with some brothers, and um, yeah, and he, some brothers were mentioning some, some, some issues. And, and uh, yourself, yeah, and he, you and Abu Khadija, you, know, you came into the topic. And you know, the brother was saying some things. Yeah, I said, well, Khair, inshallah. I said, I forgive him before and after. Before and after, before I even know what it is. He said, forgive him. He said, no, but you know, he made some accusations and he was saying some things, you know. He said that, uh, he said, yeah, he, that he, he believes that you're with the Illuminati. <laughs> 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 I couldn't stop giggling. I said, mashallah, khair. I said, on what basis? He said, because the last time you were in Canada, when you were given a lecture, that while you were giving the lecture, and you were getting heated in the lecture. That you raised your hand and you were doing this. <laughs> that you were doing this with your hand. And he said that this is from the, the symbols of the Illuminati. You know, these hand symbols that they do. And it represents affiliation to the brotherhood and to the fraternity. So I was apparently given a lecture and I also did some, some, some yeah, any finger, some movements with my finger. Huh? Subhanallah al-Azim. If that is the case, Ikhwan, Subhanallah, then you would believe, some would believe I'm a blood or a crip, likewise then, on the basis of hand movements. But to this extent, anyway, Allah, Ikhwan, I didn't know whether to, to laugh or cry. 
Illuminati, yeah, because I did this with my hand. And that is the, the, uh, the extent, Ikhwan, that the study of these conspiracy theories will have individuals, taking individuals away, ayyuhal Ikhwan, from the study of that which will protect us from any conspiracy. And that is the study of the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal, drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and remaining with the jama'ah. When we're speaking about the jama'ah, ikhwan, no doubt, we're speaking about those who are at the head of the jama'ah. And those who are at the head of the jama'ah, ikhwan, they are the ulama of this ummah, the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah. And in every era, in every time, it is of the essence that we affiliate ourselves and that we're well acquainted with the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah in our time and those who are at the head of the jama'ah.